I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question based on sign law. The bridge across a valley is 100 meter in length. The valley walls make an angle of 60 degrees and 55 degrees with the bridge. How deep is the valley to the nearest meter? So let me sketch uh, the scenario here. So that's the bridge for us. And let us say we are talking about a valley. We'll just kind of make it kind of triangular form, right? So what we are given here is that the valley walls make an angle of 60 degrees and 55 degrees with the bridge. So these angles are given to us, right? So one of them is 60 degrees, the other one is 55 degrees. How deep is the valley to the nearest meter means you have to find the height. This is what you have to calculate. Perfect. So I hope the scenario is clear. So this height will make right angles with the, with the bridge. And now let us see how to solve it. We are also given that the length of this bridge is 100 meters. So in this case, we have angle side angle, correct? So we can apply the sine law. So what we will do is we'll find one of the side. You can find any one of these sides. Once you have a side, then we use sine ratio to find the height. Let's say height is h. So let's first do the bigger triangle. Let me say this is a, b and c. And uh, let's find side a, c. So in sine law, I'll keep side a, c on the top. The angle opposite to sine AC, this side, is B, 60 degrees. So we'll write this as sine of 60 degrees is equal to what is given to us. A, B, the length 100 meters, over sine of angle C. Now from here, you can find what angle C is since you are given two angles, correct? So let's also find what is angle C. So angle C is equal to 180 degrees, take away 55 and 60. Okay. So that is 180 minus 55 minus 60 equals to 65. So we just found that this angle here is 65 degrees. So we are going to use 65 degrees here. So this combination is critical to use sine law. Perfect. Now you have to just cross multiply and get the side length AC. So AC is equal to 100 times sine of 60 degrees divided by sine of 65 degrees. That is 100 times sine of 60 divided by sine of 65 is equal to 95.55. So AC is 95.55. Now we can find the height. So now we'll consider the triangle. Let's call this point here as D. Okay, so we'll consider the triangle A, C, D. Now in this particular triangle, we just found that AC is 95.55. To find the height, we'll use the angle 55, and we know height and hypotenuse, so we can use sine ratio, correct? In this triangle, we'll use sine ratio. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan is opposite over adjacent. Since we know from 55, this is opposite side, and that's the hypotenuse, we'll use the sine ratio. So we get sine 55 equals to height or the depth in this particular case divided by 95.55. So h is equals to 95.55 times sine of 55 degrees. 
So we already have 95.55 in our calculator. We'll multiply this by sine of 55. That gives us 78.27. We have to round it to nearest meter, so it is equal to 78 meters. So our answer is the depth of the valley. is 78 meters. Perfect. So that is how you're going to solve it. So we applied the sine law to find one of the sides and then we applied the sine ratio to find the depth of the valley. So I hope the steps are clear. Sometimes you may have to use a couple of strategies to solve a question. Feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.